blessings, man. Blessings, blessings. You know, it's like a new beginning. In the beginning, we actually didn't know how serious it was. So we didn't anticipate being closed for two months. Um, with that being said, you know, it put people in a situation to where as barbers and stylists, this was our source of income to where we just didn't know what we were going to do. And uh, it made us basically take a bigger look at the industry and life within itself uh, as far as survival mode. I mean, pretty much, that's what it put us put us in, survival mode. Or what, what are we going to do next? What, how are we going to pay our bills? Uh, how we how how's the landlords going to uh, you know help us out or do anything for us? We're we're trying to make sure that people are protected. And one of the things for me, um, I'm asking people to wear masks to come in. I have hand sanitizer. We're asking people to wash their hands, and you know we are uh, we're just trying to be safe through it all. The max amount of people I can have in my shop is 14. Everyone is six feet apart, and. Uh, Basically, the state required it to be 50% of your max. We are we're open. Uh, we're happy to be here, but uh, in the midst of the two months being off, um, I, I felt like a, a kid on summer vacation, and now my mom is telling me to go back to school, and uh, it was it, it was. It was, it was good and it was bad, you know, but in the midst of, you know, I thank God for me doing the right thing as far as paying my taxes, you know, as far as the unemployment, you know, as far as that, I did have assistance with that. If Without that, I don't know what I would have done as far as making it. We, we value what we do. We value the customers, you know. To me, uh, the barbershop is like a, a daycare, you know, because I say that because people trust us enough to leave their kids to go shop and go to the grocery store. That speaks volume within itself. Um, you know, we're not just barbers, we're mentors, you know, we, uh, we're therapists, you know, uh, we're doctors, you know. You know, just don't look at us as barbers or whatnot because we're more than that. And I think this pandemic shows you how much you do need your barber, how much you do appreciate your barber. You know, as the old saying, you don't miss it until it's gone. You know, so we were gone, but not by choice, but you missed us. So all I ask is, you know, just love us, you know, respect us, value our craft of who we are as an individual and the craft that we provide for you.